Hello my friends, my name is Lucky Setter and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make custom thumbnails using paint.net which actually look pretty good, you know, as you can see it looks pretty good from a distance as well. So actually this is the preview thumbnail that I'm gonna make, this is not the exact same, you know, thumbnail that we will be making, but you know, it's a preview about basically what I am going to teach you guys to make and what you will be making. So if you don't, you know, like how this thumbnail looks, you know, then maybe this video is not the best video for you and you, can, you may want to switch to another video. But let's get started. First you want to go to new and then you want to write 1280 by 720, okay? Because YouTube's actual you know, upload, thumbnail upload size 1280 by 720, so you want to do that. And don't click on that maintain expert ratio, okay? Then press oh, OK. And then we want to go to our gradient tool and choose radio. But first, let's choose our colors. I think I'll make a nice blue. And then I'll try to find the center of the page, but I don't think, you know, I can find it. But I think this, this looks like the center. Then hold and drag out until you think you have made a cool looking background so this is how you actually make your gradient background you can download a background from google but th i think this look actually better and it's, it is easier then click add new layer and then go to your text tool and then let's you know make our you know primary color white then you can choose your font, you can choose anything you want, but I am using Comics Loud, which you can download the, from the font.com. I'll leave it in the description below if you want, if you guys want to download it. Okay, so I'm gonna write how to make. And, oh, I made a mistake here. Oops, sorry. Let's do that again. How to make. Okay, now it looks great. Let's center it and then press add new layer and then you know, choose your text tool and then write custom thumbnails. Custom thumb nails. And then I think I'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Uh, I made a fail again. Custom thumb nails. Okay, now it looks better. Okay, I think it looks centered right now. It looks good. Now I'll add a new layer, which I'll add my last words with. I'll make it bigger with. So it looks awesome right now, but I'm going to add something to do my last words. So I'm going to go to layers, then rotate zoom. So actually I'm going to you know rotate it so it looks a little bit 3D-ish but not that you know I know what it looks like but it looks better in my opinion you don't got you don't have to make this guys that's what I am making right now so I'm going to press okay and this actually looks awesome let me just put it a little bit down okay this looks awesome then I want to go to I want to actually download the paint.net icon or the logo, whatever you want to call it, from google.com and then you want to open it with paint.net and when it's opened, you go to magic wand, choose the background, delete it and the other parts as well, then you know go control A, then control C to copy, then go to your canvas, you know thumbnail, then control V. Uh, you want to choose keep canvas size so it doesn't make your canvas bigger. So let's go and ahead and let's go small it, small it down. So while you're doing that, you know, press shift so it maintains its aspect ratio, which is pretty important so it doesn't look crummy. So this is our, you know, this is, this looks actually pretty good. But you don't want to put anything right below here, okay? This part you want to make it you know empty you don't want to put anything at this point okay because you know the time 
you know, I don't know how to call what, but at the the length of your video is going to be displayed right here, so it's gonna you know close down everything that's behind this. So you don't want to put anything behind that, okay? This part is gonna be blank. So basically, this is what your thumbnail is gonna look like. You know, you can change your font, you can change your image, you can change your background. You know, you can ch even change your text color and whatnot. But this is what looks great and you want a thumbnail that looks great from a distance because this is actually how people are going to see your thumbnail out on YouTube because it doesn't, you know, they don't see it like that. They see it like this. So, if you look at it like that, you can see that how to make and width is, you know, very seeable. You can, you can, you know, you can see it pretty easily. You can see everything pretty pretty easily. I can read it that how to make custom thumbnails with paint like that. I can read it easily I and I think it looks pretty awesome. Then you know let's make it bigger again. Then you wanna go to file then save. Okay? Then you wanna save as a JPEG because it works best with YouTube. Maybe you can do PNG but I'm not that sure about PNG. I'm not gonna you know tell a lie here. I'm not sure about PNG format. You know, just to be safe, you can you shall use the JPEG. JPEG is better. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more because more tutorial videos will be coming every Wednesdays. No, not every Wednesdays. You know, twice, once every two weeks, but they will be coming. And also, Destiny and Battlefield 4 videos will be coming as well throughout the week. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you, this video helped you, and leave a comment if you have a question in your head. I will be answering them all. So don't forget to comment as well. So thanks for watching guys. This is Lucky Satter signing out.